Godfrey Bloom, your very last official day as an MEP. The election's over. What are you doing here back in Strasbourg? Uh, well, I'm just here to tidy up my desk, clear away a few odds and sods, a few photographs, and wend my way back to Yorkshire, thank goodness. Uh, uh, and I don't have to come out here anymore. But a service medal heading your way, just explain what that's about. Well, like all the medals I've got, and like the medals I got in the army, they're for turning up. And apparently I've been told that there's a medal for me tonight that I get presented by Herr Martin Schulz uh, for turning up. And I have been sort of turning up for about 10 years, on and off. Are you going to be proud? Are you proud to be getting this medal? Well, I wouldn't say proud because turning up isn't something you could be particularly proud of. But uh, I have turned up uh, and being an old soldier, I can't resist a medal of any sort. I mean, you're the fact that you're out here on taxpayers' hospitality, really, for this trip since the election's over. Is it taxpayers' money well spent that you're back here in Strasbourg with the election out of the way and you're not, not re-elected as an MEP? Um, well, A, I didn't stand again, so I haven't been deselected. I am in office today uh, and I think I'm entitled to, to a day to clear my desk, as anybody is, uh, when they retire. I'm 64, I've done seven, uh, ten years. I think I'm entitled to a day to clear my desk. So this isn't a jolly on your behalf? Oh my goodness, fellow. I, if I wanted a jolly, do you think I'd come here after ten years of having to come here when it takes nearly all day to get here from Yorkshire? Goodness me, no. Uh, I'd be in Scarborough if I wanted a jolly. What does this, re this medal represent then? What are you going to be doing with it once you receive it? Uh, well, I don't even know what shape it is. I don't know what size it is. I don't know, but I rather suspect I shall hang it in my downstairs lavatory uh, as a tribute to ten years of my life. That's ten years of, of, of work. Do you feel that you've achieved something in your time as, a, as an MEP on behalf of Yorkshire and, and Humberside? Uh, yes, I do. Not a lot, because, as you know, this is an amending chamber, so it isn't a lawmaking body, as Englishmen would understand a parliament to be. Uh, but my speeches are the most viewed on internet of any other MEP in the history of the parliament, uh, which I think is an achievement. And one of those speeches, which got five million hits, is pointing out how uh, the commissioners here and some of the bureaucracy evade their taxes uh, and that got that's uh, and that's got me support from all over the world plus of course uh, it was only back in August that I pointed out uh, that we were spending one billion pounds a month uh, on overseas aid with no serious audit trail 40% of which comes through this building uh, and while we're closing our own hospitals I got massive support for that thousands of emails from all over the country so it hasn't been a complete waste of time What's next for you? What are you going to be doing now? Uh, I'm going to be president of the Drivers' Union, an appointment I took up two weeks ago, uh, and I'm going to spend uh, as much time as I can in the future sticking up for possibly the most hard-pressed majority in the United Kingdom. That's the ordinary Middle England citizen who drives a car. Does that mean a political career still ahead? Uh, well, you can never quite divorce these things from politics, but it'll be politics with a small p rather than party politics, which I've never liked, incidentally. Party politics is a pretty disgusting sort of game. Just briefly, where do you think, uh, what do you think of the election results and the way the, the European Parliament looks now following these elections? Uh, well, uh, I bet in... Uh, 2009 that UKIP would come top, because I sit as an independent now, uh, I bet they would come top. I got, uh, I got seven to one and I put on a thousand, so I got, got seven thousand pounds for that, not a bad bet, best bet I've ever had, made up for some of the money I've lost over the years on horses.